Well, let's see if anything has changed in the garden since the seasons have shifted. Do you think anything will look different? What season do you think it is? You see the leaves falling from the trees? There's still life happening in the garden. The other thing that's happening besides leaves falling from the trees is that they're starting to change color. And that includes the blueberry bushes that are here in the garden. Look at those beautiful, beautiful red leaves. And some of these some of these blueberries are never going to lose their leaves, but there are other blueberries in here that will. The blueberries that don't ever lose their leaves are called evergreen blueberries. Like evergreen trees. Like fir and pine and cedar. And there are some of those trees outside of the garden. Look at those big, tall, evergreen trees. There's more of them back here. But these trees that are losing their leaves, those are called deciduous trees. Rose Valley Garden has some of both around it. It's pretty neat. October and November are often the time of year we start to prepare the garden for the cold winter season. One way we can prepare the garden for winter is by trimming or pruning back perennial plants. So this herb smells very good. Mm. And this herb is called oregano. Oregano is an herb in the mint family. It's native to the Mediterranean and has been used to flavor foods and also as plant medicine for thousands of years in many parts of the world. You may have had oregano as an ingredient in spaghetti sauce or in the tomato sauce on your pizza, but it's also part of many, many different recipes. And you can see up top all of the dried flowers and they actually have lots of seeds in them. Let's see if I can get some in my hand. The seeds are pretty small. I can't really see any. But every time I pull a branch off of this or cut a branch off of this, I can hear the seeds hitting the ground. But see how there's all of these all of these branches coming up out of the plant that's kind of covering the ground. So one way that I can help take care of this oregano plant and make sure that it is healthy and ready to grow nice and lush for next season is I can actually trim off all of those long dry looking branches and then pull those out Woo! And add them to the pile over here. We could use the green oregano leaves from those branches as an ingredient in our next recipe if we wanted to. And then basically what I'll have left is the part that's kind of low to the ground there um, and sort of forms a mat. And those in the springtime next year will start to grow up and out and have some really fresh, nice growth on them. So that's one of the ways we can take care of herbs. What do you suppose our woolly bear friend here is thinking about as they wander through this garden bed? 
Did you know that woolly bears are the caterpillar of the Isabella tiger moth? I actually just learned that too. I'm not really sure what they're thinking about, but maybe they're wondering what they could eat for lunch. Maybe they're going to have some plantain or dandelions. Or maybe they're just saying hello to their pill bug friends. Hello, friend. Whatever the case, it's kind of neat to think about. Hey friends, thanks for joining me, Farmer Hillary, for another installment of Touring the Rose Valley School Garden. I hope that all of you are keeping safe, healthy, and warm this winter season. If you'd like to reach me or anyone else on our school garden team, there are a few ways you can do that listed on your screen. Some of the things that are mentioned on these cards, like the produce or volunteer opportunities, are seasonally dependent. But please reach out if you think there may be something we can help you with. We'll do our best to get you what you need. Take care.